All right, everybody. Uh, I really was feeling lazy on doing this video, but I had a hard time myself trying to figure out where the knock sensors were on uh, 6.0. I guess because it's a new year or a newer year, um, I guess they're they have different positions on on the engines. Uh, well, what I'm trying to say is, I search for a GM 6.0 engine and uh, where the knock sensor was and uh, apparently there's two now every time I went on YouTube and try to search it uh, they it said or at least all the videos said that it was under the intake so pretty much you had to take all that the intake the injectors uh, all that uh, and uh, it will be like one right here in the back of the engine and one right there under the intake. But uh, so I went online, I just started searching. By the way, this is a Isuzu NPR gas and it has the 6.0 GM. Uh, and so it was giving me that light, uh, the knock sensor light. Uh, and uh, try to search it, like I said, but I couldn't find it. So I was trying to look for a cable because everybody said on the videos that here on the back of the engine like in the middle right there there should have been a cable that looks similar to this but it should have been two uh two cables i don't know if you can, just can see it so it should have been uh two cables not three this is a three cable connector so it said that it should have been a two so that's what i was looking for the beginning I thought it was uh, that one right there this one right here right there but no it's not so kept kept on searching and I really couldn't find anything online now uh, I did find them and that's the oil filter and that right there is the knot sensor so there's one here on this side of the engine on the bottom on the block and there's another one on the opposite side now I bought them I, uh, I think at the dealership they were about $15 each now the others uh, the other uh, sensors for the other engines that I saw they were like $100 I believe um, so when they told me it was $15 per sensor, that was a relief. Besides, I didn't have to take all the intake and all that out, which cost a lot of money. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Uh, so like I said, I found them right here. It's there's a connection. You'll see like an elbow with uh, that material that prevents the heat from the block to um, get into the sensor and damage it. But when I took it out, by the way, that's a 13 millimeter, I believe, uh, socket. Um, when I took it out, I had a problem because this right here wasn't doing its job. So pretty much, I don't know whether somebody moved it before me or duh, it might have come loose or I don't know to me it feels like it should have been a little bit more up to here to cover this end of the sensor um, but it wasn't doing its job because the sensor was melted now the connect the connector from this end this cable that runs into the computer uh, also melted so they're they fused together with the sensor so it was a hard time Taking air as a matter of fact, I broke chunks of it in order to remove it. I was able to remove it, but the only thing is that the connection, uh, I mean, as you said, I, I was only left with the uh, two little plugs to connect to the sensor. So put some tape on it and connected it like that because apparently they don't they do not sell it at the dealership. 
I'm sure you can get it somewhere. I am sure of it. But Lee's the dealership told me that they don't sell that because the cable's already inside the other cables for the whole engine, so something like that. Anyways, it was a hard time. Now the other one, in on the other hand, that was easy. Uh, that was not uh, melted at all. Because I think that this right here, this cover, um, was a little bit up to here. Uh, in other words, it was covering it a little bit better than this one. And so with this one, I, I just tried to get it. I even put a clip right here so it can, like, you know, uh, hug it or <laughs> cover it a little bit more. Um, so it protects it from the heat of the block and hopefully that'll be it now I was afraid that the connection because I broke it wasn't gonna work and because it was also melted but uh I connected it put some tape on it electrical tape and turned on the engine and apparently it worked <sighs> And apparently it worked because I didn't get no uh, lights, no check engine lights. I think that, well, I hope <laughs> that when I start driving it, you know, because it takes a, a little while for the computer to figure out everything. At least I had it for at least 30 minutes on and nothing happened. So I hope that that was it and the uh, light won't come on anymore now the other one I don't know how am I gonna do this I just don't want to get on the floor right there uh, the other one it's uh, yeah, I don't know if I can get it uh, maybe not anyways I couldn't get it anyways the sensor was right there right I would say below the exhaust not the exhaust the uh, the heads of the engine if you will call it right above the oil pan right in between there so the other one is right here as well on the opposite side and so you guys can see what the damage was on the one that was melted uh, right here I don't know if you guys can see it but you see how it melted it's pretty much the um, material of that thing the heat material to prevent it from burning from the heat of the engine Burnley wasn't doing a great job all this melted so like I said the connector goes right here and that was also melted to this right here so that's why I had to br break it and this has a, a screw like I said this is a 13 um, and I use that very simple tools to get it and this is the sensor I was surprised on how small they are uh, because the other sensors that I saw for the other engines they're like kind of big they're about this big and it has a connection on top with a rubber plug that goes into the engine anyways it's harder you can search it online and or on YouTube and you'll see it pretty much when you type uh, knock sensors for GM uh, engines 4.3 I think anyway all the engines that GM sells pretty much all of them say that the knock sensors go under the intake but I was lucky this one is a uh, 2009 and is the 6.0 you guys can see it right there 6.0 and so you guys don't have a hard time like I had searching and searching 
you already know. Like I said, these Isuzu's, they bring a gas engine. Well, some of them have a, a gas engine, and that'll be a GM engine. And like I said, this works for the Isuzu, and I think for other GM trucks, they have the same engine. Anyways, sorry for the long video. I'll try to explain as much as possible.